Well, welcome everyone. Happy uh, Sunday. Happy December. I cannot believe we only have 28 days left of 2017. Can you all believe that? That is insane. Um, I'm in my row, so thank God this is just our team. Um, <laughs> But I, I really want you after this call, honestly, like sit down with yourself in a notepad if you like taking notes. And I really want you to like think, how do I want to end 2017? How do I want to begin 2018? Like what do I want my first 90 days in 2018 to look like? Because what you start in December, you guys, you all know who have been in this long enough, like you have to get that momentum ball rolling like what you do today will show up in 90 days and I promise you that for those of you who have been in long in this you know that is so true so imagine like what your month and what you did last month that work you did last month will um the text oh crap sorry Laura uh I probably did just that um hold on let me get on my phone uh see you all okay anyway Half our team isn't on because I sent the wrong number. Isn't that fun? Uh, <laughs> uh, Laura, you want to reply to have them get on the 641-425-9432 number, please, uh, since I'm talking. Uh, anyway, so just know for those of you who are, like, putting in the work, like, imagine what your business looked like last month and then triple that. Like really, because in 90 days, it's really going to show up. So don't get discouraged. And for those of you working, working, just get more excited. Um, so I'm just going to give a few quick holiday tips for December. And I honestly, we have so many incredible um, leaders and bees on this call that feel, I mean, this is an open-ended call. That's why we do these regions every couple of months um, because you guys can just have your lines unmuted. You can interject ideas. You guys are way more brilliant than I am. Um, but for mastering your business or simplifying your business in December, um, I have some really, really simple ideas. Like you're going to be blown away. They're, you're really not going to be like, oh, I could have thought of that. Um, but really, honestly, you guys, December is thinking out of the box. If you haven't already, you've gotten ooh, December's busy, I can't, or oh, we're just so crammed, like you might be getting a lot of no's, and that's okay. If they're not, if they're not able to book, we always, for those of you who are new, we always book 90 days out. So if I have a no in November, or in December, I'm like, that's okay, I totally get it, you are swamped. Um, would you wanna book something for January or December? Or sorry, January, February. You guys, typically they book. So book your night, even if it is a no in December, no, you can book January and February. We're always book 90 days out. Because imagine flipping the calendar to January and you already have like three, four parties on. How amazing would that feeling be? Um, also for the holidays, well, like if I ask them in for a teach around the table, that's what I'm doing lately is just some wellness and they just have a meal around the table. And I'm like, hey, would you host one with your friends? I'm trying this new thing now. And they're like, no. Say, oh, you know, would you book January, February? Yeah. But then I tell them, hey, I have one personally that I'm hosting on December 17th. Um, would you want to come to that just so you can get the feel of what yours is going to be like? Because then they're going to come, you guys, and they'll probably, number one, order their wellness package earlier than they would have. And number two, I'm going to say, like, we're doing yours in January, but who are two to three friends you would want it to, like, start this with? Us, January 1st is when we're starting our first wellness group. I'll get our second wellness group tonight on my nine o'clock planning call, but um, plan some things at your home. I know Katie's already doing that. She invited her gym group over to her house. So that's what I mean of get creative in December. It might be you hosting a few things in your home. It might be just going to watch bake cookies with a friend and doing a quick wellness workshop there. Um, I posted a whole long thread. I know you, I hate personally reading through long posts. And then here I did, I copied and pasted a long post and made you guys read it. But it has some really great outside of the box ideas. I don't want to spend a ton of time on this, but I would say for December, if you're going to simplify anything, really focus on helping people finish up their holiday shopping. What men's groups do you know that you could help them finish up? Men are last minute. They'll totally shop with you in December. Um, and then really hit home on December. And if you find one, that's the key. 
just find one, you guys, and then ask that one person, who are two to three people you know? And that literally is how Peyton Mott got to MVP in less than a year and a half. She found one, had that one person invite two to three people. That's all she did, you guys. I have all her training. <laughs> it is that simple. It's find one, have that one person, find three. And then out of those group of four, typically one or two people started her team. And that's how she got to nation so quickly. But it's, you all know at least one person, introduce them to wellness, have them introduce three of their friends. Because what happens when they introduce three of their wellness friends to wellness, they can get their wellness package for free with Hostess Rewards. So it's that outside of the box thinking. You don't necessarily have to have a wellness in-home party in December. Find one person to do it with them. They find three people, those three orders, you plug into a party, that one person gets the hostess reward. So that is some um, outside of the box thinking. Unmute yourselves if you have some more genius ideas. I, there has to be some out there because you guys are way more brilliant and savvy and smarter than I am. Any ideas you guys are loving or that are working for you so far in December? Anything, Bueller? Nothing. <laughs> okay. If you think of something, I'll have you share at the end too. But I am excited, excited to, um, Jamie, I'll have you introduce Katie. So I'll have you go, Jamie, and then Katie, you can end it, uh, round us up. But I'm excited to introduce you to AM Qualification, Jamie Lazier. And that's all the introduction you're getting, Jamie, because um, they know you're all, you're awesome and you're, Amazing, um, but I really want them to hear about your journey, mind shift change, and everything you had in these last couple of months. Awesome. Okay, um, I'm kind of excited because it's fun to see. Like when I was first on these calls, when I started, I didn't know anybody of these faces, and now it's like half my team's on here, and that's like super exciting. So, um, okay, so I started in January of last year, so it's almost like coming up on a year here. Um, and I did uh, district manager like in three months, kind of quick. I did that right away by myself. Um, but I like filled up my calendar, made it, made that like a priority. Um, and then Megan was specifically telling me to do one-on-ones and I like fought her to no end. So like I purposely filled my calendar, my activity, like with activity. So I didn't have to do one-on-ones. I was like, I'm too busy. Can't do it. Um, <clears throat> and mostly they just scared me. So I was like, I don't, I don't want to do one-on-ones. I want to make sure I can do this by myself. I want to make sure I know what I'm doing before I talk to somebody about it. Um, and I don't want to go get people on my team. So um, I I reluctantly did some one-on-ones. Nikki, do you remember when we did your one-on-one? It's like February, March. I don't know. Um, we, <laughs> like, I was like, okay, I'll do my sister. I'll do my best friend just because they won't, like, they'll tell me I'm stupid, but it'll be fine and I'll move on. Um, so I did those one-on-ones. I, they both were like, Hey, that's great. You can do it, but it's not for me. Um, so I went district, um, by myself in April, just when we went to GTC. Also, I went to GTC, not knowing what the heck it was. I didn't even know what it's like the letter stood for. I just went cause Megan told me it was important to go. Um, <laughs> and just like watching things happen on becoming a district, um, manager. I was like, okay, like this is kind of cool. I should go. Um, got back from GTC. My fire was lit. I was like, okay, let's do some more one-on-ones. Let's do this. Um, two people that month signed up. Um, one was my best friend and then her sister signed up as well. Um, and she just texted me like, Hey, thinking about the, doing the business when she first told me like, no, I will never do this. So, um, then, um, Nikki joined me like, well, I met Rachel and then, um, Nikki joined me. Um, and so like the team started like kind of growing and I was seeing, um, I was crappy at one-on-ones, like Megan mostly talked them into <laughs> joining me, I think somehow, or twisted their arm to join my team. Um, but it was, but like, I was like, um, end of summer, I was like, okay, I think um, I'm getting the hang of this. And I was seeing like the, the paycheck p potential, really, like when I was starting to bonus and stuff. Um, I saw like, I could make more, like I'm kind of leaving money on the table here and not really in a greedy way, but I was just seeing like, um, uh, my husband and I, we became pregnant like in June. And so I just started thinking about staying home and what that needed to look like as far as paycheck. And so September, October, I really got it in my head. I was like, 
I really, I want to go AM. Like I need to do that to replace my income. I need to do that if I want to accomplish staying at home. And so, um, <clears throat> I think I remember telling Megan, like on a coaching call in September, I was like, I, I think I want to go, um, AM, I think. And she's like, you've got to say it. Like, you've got to say it out loud or it's not. And I'm like, I know, but if I say it, that means like I have to do it sort of thing. So, um, literally just saying the goal out loud was scary. And so both September and October, I was like, okay, I want to go AM call, but I was doing more hoping than like working. I was just like saying it. I mean, like, hope it works out this month. Like hope my numbers hit there. Um, and it was, it's like, it's like saying you want to run a marathon and still eating Cheetos and sitting on your couch and like hoping you can put on your tennis shoes and go. So I was like, okay, this isn't working. Um, mindset was half of it. Um, talking to team members was a lot of it, like just believing like in my team, um, finding some people that really did want to like run and go with me. Um, and so this month it, we said it at the beginning of the month, Megan's like, I think this is your month. You can go AM call. And I was like, I don't think I can, but I'll let her keep saying that and make it like, I'll pretend that I'm going AM call this month. Um, but just like, um, a few things that I've been realizing that have worked, um, that have like worked and helped me. Obviously I haven't done this on my own. It needs to be a team effort. Um, district manager I did on my own, but it was hard. <laughs> like it was kind of hard to make, not maintain. Um, but just having a team one for the support is just awesome. You guys know the culture of Arbon being plugged into these calls, talking to like my sister and Rachel and Katie and just everybody on our team. Like it's so refreshing to like hear their side. And like when I'm having a crappy day, they're going to like kind of cheer me up and vice versa. So it's, it was all about my team. Um, and then going through this month, um, I'll kind of talk about like my mindset and then like tips, like don't do my mindset, do these things. Um, but, uh, historically I, about half of the month gets through, like it'll be December 15th, whatever. Um, and I will probably call our Vox Megan and be like, can't do this. Sorry. My numbers aren't going to work this month. I'm just not going to do it. I get in this funk. I can feel it coming. Like I'm jacked up this week. I love Arbon. It's the best thing ever. December 15th, they'll hit and I'll be like, can't do this. It's like, it's me. I can't do it. So, um, what happened this month, like our numbers were going, um, to look like it was going AM call. Um, but I still like, that's a big number. So I was like, I don't, uh, whatever we can maybe do it. I hope my team does it like selfishly. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but then like crazy things happen close week. Um, and I don't know if you guys have experienced this yet, but like people and clients and PCs like crawl out of the woodwork in close week. Like they just, um, well, I know like the rush of it's close. It's like the end of the month and they want to get like their free gifts or whatever it is, but people really do make orders. You're getting emails and you're like, Oh my gosh, somebody placed an order. Um, so I remember it was closed day. Um, Thursday. Yeah. It was closed day on Thursday and we were about like 90% of the way there. And I just saw the number and I was like, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. We're not going to get this. Yay. We did a great like push. That's awesome. Um, but I got home, um, right after work and Megan was kind of texting me. She's like, you're going to do this, this number. And, um, Megan's coach above her, Renee, texted me too and encouraged me. And I was like, okay, I don't know how we're going to do it, but sure, we'll do it. Um, <clears throat> and then just slowly by little by little, I would not recommend this. Don't watch your dashboard. <laughs> like that makes you even more nervous. Get on your phone, do the work, do the legwork and make it work. So I was texting my team and not, hopefully you guys can attest to this, hopefully not in a desperate way, like, hey, get some, get some orders in, but like encouraging, like, hey, how can I help you? How can we reach out to more PCs? Um, I was sending texts. I just said, I'm going to text all my PCs. I'm going to throw it out there. The worst thing they can say is no, don't text me. <laughs> um, so I would send them like, here's our last holiday things. Here's the, um, here's your free gift, like what you have to do. And then I was copying, pasting that, sending to, that to my teammates, um, encouraging them. Um, but really it was just, just them being like, I remember Rachel was like, are you almost to your goal? Like I'm trying to put in one more order. Like they were so encouraging, like helping me. And so it was just, it was going back and forth. I think Katie stayed up till midnight. Like we were all just, it was so cool to just see all of us come together. And it was literally like a team effort. And I mean, um, I think in my head, I just had, a, I was like, 
we're just not going to do it. And it's going to be like my fault. I'm not going to be able to do it. All my, all my other teammates were working, but cause Katie was going for, to finish district manager. Um, Livy was going for DM qual. Um, and so it was just like, everybody else is going to do their goal. It's okay. If I don't do mine, I'll just still encourage them. And then when we hit that number, I was just like, no, no effing way. <laughs> like when Megan was telling me that was possible. So, um, things that I've realized you guys that had worked, um, and I have to remind this myself this every single month, but, um, investing in my team was really, um, important these last, this month, month is two months, just investing as far as, um, not being um, scared of one-on-ones, either letting like my coach help me out or just like being real, more real at one-on-ones. Um, I think my first few one-on-ones, I was very businessy and I was very, is our bond for you and followed that sheet to a T and it just came off really salesy. Um, where instead I've been like just really sharing my story, being super honest. Like when my sister said she was scared to sign up or whatever it was, I told her all my fears. Um, Katie, for example, I bugged her for <laughs> four or five, six months, I feel like, and just, um, just <laughs> investing, I think it was that long, <laughs> like just investing and not, um, not trying to be, um, greedy. I was just like, I know I need people on my team, but changing it from, I need people on my team for these numbers to, oh my gosh, Arbonne has done so much for me. Katie needs this in her life or Rachel needs this in her life. And so thinking, how do I explain that to them? What this has done for me, what it couldn't do for them. Um, the second thing, um, being an activity is super important. And I know you guys hear that all the time and it's easier said than done. Like we all know that, like you can say, yeah, I need a lot of activity, but you actually have to do it. Um, so what I found is like, if my calendar is empty, then making the effort to go to like the Des Moines event or going to one of my team's events or parties, like making that my activity, um, so I got more jacked up and excited for them too. Um, the third thing is mindset. Uh, this month was a lot of prayer. Um, just kind of giving it up and, um, Megan always has really good quotes about like, um, like work, like it's up to you, but like, believe that it's up to God and he'll take care of it. And it's really been true. Like, um, instead of my prayers being like, how the heck can I do this? I've just been like, I'm so excited to watch you do this, God, like however you're going to do it. And he, he does it every month. And so, um, mindset as far as prayer, learn and burns have been super important. Um, and then just coaching, like, uh, you guys will see this when you have a bad month, you don't have the belief or when it's December 15th, I'll call my coach, um, and I'll borrow her belief. Like if, you don't have to be positive and peppy. You don't have to be the entire month. You can't like a lot of people have rough weeks, rough, like months, rough, you know, rough years. And so, um, let your coach fill you up too. And like feed off of their energy, their positivity, their belief. Um, and you'll, you'll, you'll feed off of that as well. Um, and then last thing, no excuses. Um, I felt like I was talking to my team, a few people on my team and like saying, Oh yeah, I know December is busy and people don't want to do parties and people have holidays. So it's going to be a really hard month. Like I was feeding that to them like the last of November and I'm like, what the heck am I doing? Um, and I hope none of them listened to me because like Katie already booked two parties and, um, <laughs> Nikki, I think had an event. And so I was like, we're, we are, we're making excuses already and it's not even December. And so, um, not making excuses and not making up stories for, like people that I'm going to text, like maybe they are busy, but maybe they'll say, like Megan said in January, I'll host instead of December. And so, um, not making excuses has been a big deal. So, um, I know it, it's only AM qual, but it feels like a huge step, a huge accomplishment. I can't wait to see like what my team does this month. And I don't know if it was Renee's call last week or last, I don't know when she was talking about Becky, um, promoting, but you do see like a bunch of promotions happen at the same time. So that's super exciting. Like, like I said, um, Katie finished district this month and then Livy went in qual. Um, a lot of my team members are still in qual for district manager. And so when you're doing that together and you're all jacked up together, you, you just see them pop and it's, it's so exciting. I'm, that's why I'm loving like the team, um, like the coaching part of it. That's, that's been really cool. So if you hear anything tonight, definitely invest in your team. Um, do the one-on-ones, even if they're scary and crazy and, um, definitely believe in like 
maybe it's not a right now sort of thing, but those people will come back or they'll watch your life and, and come back with interest to join you later. So hope that helps. <laughs> Um, I'm going to hand it off to Katie because she is a new district manager and I'm so jacked up. We were literally like up so late on closed night and she was boxing and freaking out and it was just fun to watch her journey. But, um, Katie just joined, I think October 31st, basically, um, called in November and then finished district in November. So she's going to give us a few tips. Hey, can you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so I don't really know how to follow that because basically I just do whatever my coach tells me to do. So, because I have really great coaches. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to be district manager. I had the same feelings that Jamie had about um, wondering if I'm able to do it. Like, I remember Thursday I texted Jamie and I'm like, I can't talk right now. I'm overwhelmed. I. I just felt like I wasn't going to be able to do it. And then I just um, remembered my goal and went for it, just started texting people, reaching out. Um, and so I totally agree with everything that Jamie said, just um, about just working for it and um, some of her goal things too. So a couple of things that I would say about um, just having a good month and working hard. Um, I would second what Jamie says about um, praying about it. Um, I feel like that's made a huge different difference um, in what I'm doing just because I know I can't do it on my own. And if you have big goals, you got to pray big too. So um, sometimes I know it feels like, oh, I don't want to pray for myself or whatever, but um, that's not selfish. God wants us to have big dreams and to go after what our heart desires and so I just encourage you to pray big for whatever it is that you want our bond to do for you. Um, so that would be my first piece of advice. Just pray about it and um, he'll take care of the rest and trust in that. Um, I also want to second what Jamie said about um, your goals. It really helped me get serious when I told Jamie and Megan my goals out loud. Um, and I think I even said that I'm like, I feel like I just need to say this out loud so that I know that it that I could do it and then it's real and it's happening. Um, and then once I said it out loud, I couldn't take it back. So, um, it was either go for it or not. So, um, say your goal out loud, tell somebody, write it down. Um, and then just work towards it after that. Um, another thing that I found was really helpful is to just ask. Uh, I was super nervous and hesitant when I first started about that. So, um, you just kind of have to get brave and have some courage and um, take the pressure off yourself. Like all you're doing is asking and it's up to them whether or not they want to say yes or no. You have no control over that. So um, it doesn't hurt to just do the big ask. Um, and it's okay to ask for help too. Like I know for this month, you know, I was talking to Jamie like, Oh, everybody keeps saying no about December. And, um, I feel like I'm just asking for people for parties and yada, yada, yada. But um, it's okay to ask for help too. Like I texted some close friends and I'm like, hey, I'm really trying to book my month full. Would you want to help me out by getting a couple friends together? And I've even offered like we can do it at my house so you don't have to clean. Um, but I just think it's okay to ask for help and to be honest with people or tell them, you know, I have a goal of reaching 30 people this month. Would you want to help me out by? Uh, giving me 20 minutes of your time. Um, so I think it's okay to ask for help too and to be vulnerable in that sense. And I think I said this last time I talked, but just listen to your coaches and um, get connected. They are just a wealth of knowledge. Um, I couldn't have done anything that I did without Jamie and Megan and just they gave me advice. They gave me verbiage on how to ask things. They encouraged me when I felt super discouraged and didn't think I could keep going at the pace I was going. Um, so I just encourage you to stay plugged in and um, listen to your coaches. And like Jamie said, um, use their encouragement and feed off of them because you know that you'll do the same for them um, when they need it. So that's all I have. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, Katie, I'm going to have you share this too, because you guys, she like 
had a big goal and there are lots I think there are lots of DM calls on this call that were literally sitting in her position where a lot of you have and I have your number, so don't freak out. Whoa, that's what I have to do. I have all your numbers. So if you haven't had a personal strategy se session with your coach, whoever's coaching you in this business, definitely text them right now. I want to talk to you. Set a time. Uh, but they will help you break down that big scary number into bite-sized pieces. Um, but most of your numbers are right around what Katie did personally. So she has a rock star on her team, Livy. Livy's on. Um, but Katie did what most of you guys need total on her own. So Katie, like walk us through that. Like I know that was a big scary number to you and you had some parties, but you did some reach outs. But walk even just the mindset of, oh my God, I'm never going to do that to, I'm going to do that. Okay. Um, like, I, I just feel like I need to say, I am weird, first of all. I'm very shy. Um, I have, I can get really anxious about a lot of things. I worry about people. I mean, and I just feel like I'm, I'm not saying that, like, to give you too much information or anything, but just if I can do it, anybody can do it. Like, I don't feel like I... Like, as I'm going and Megan and Jamie were sharing, like, oh, my gosh, this is awesome. This is awesome. I'm like, I don't really know what I'm doing that's so great. I just feel like I said my goal, and I just decided I'm just going to go for it. I feel like, you know, I've complained about some things at work, and I've complained about, you know, I have these dreams, but I'm never going to get there, like being a stay-at-home mom and whatever. And I just felt like I was tired of complaining about it and just decided if I wanted to do something about it, then I better do something about it. So, um, you know, Megan says, like, put your blinders on. I just started asking people. I started with, like, my close friends, of course, and family, which actually I feel like is a ton lot harder than asking people that you're not close with. Um, but you go to the people that you're comfortable with first and, you know, that are going to love you, um, no matter what. So I started there and just told them that I need their help to get the word out about my business. And, um, so my goal was, you know, have a couple launches and then I just asked some close friends that I knew would support me to have a party, um, and just said, you know, I'm trying to just get the word out about my business. Um, I was a little worried about one-on-ones, um, so I started with friends that I was close to first to just kind of practice, and I had Megan and Jamie help me on all of those because those are super hard and awkward, I feel like, at first because you don't know what to say and you don't want to pressure anybody, but, um, and so Livy happened to be one of my friends that I knew she would just be kind and um, let me practice with her, and um so I'm so thankful that I did because Livy and I really connected after that. And um, now she's on fire. Um, she's called for a district manager. And um, I'm just so grateful that I went out on a limb to talk to her about it. So that's kind of how I started. And then from there, when you are at your parties and your one-on-ones, then you, you kind of, you've already done that big ask. So now you're just doing another ask. Hey, do you know somebody else that I can do a party for or um, – would you just give them my name, I guess? Is that I what think, you want to make? Yeah. I think another big thing that you did, Katie, I don't know if you realized you did this, but blinders on, you didn't, and you really didn't have time. You didn't compare yourself to anybody. Um, I feel like when we get on these calls, it's really hard to like, you feel very encouraged, but you're also like, oh, they're doing this or they're doing this better than me. Or you're just watching all those promotions and those um, like posts and stuff. And instead of like, getting down and comparing like, well, they must know more people or whatever it is. You got to put your blinders on and be like, no, I know just as many people. I can work just as hard. Um, like I said, you didn't really have time to, <laughs> you were going all month long and not comparing, but don't ever compare. Your, I heard this on the Learn, Learn and Burn I listened to last night. Don't compare your journey to somebody else's. Like it's going to look different. Mm -hmm. You're going to be more of an expert at something than somebody else's. Mm -hmm. I love that. And I think you guys, I think through and through on this whole call, like mindset, I have to tell you. So the 29th, 
yeah, I think it was the 29th, I did a party with Katie. In both of our minds, I think we thought, this is going to be awesome. Her mom was hosting. It was like <laughs> where everyone was going to come and support Katie, and they were all going to buy a ton of things, and she was going to finish DM that night. <laughs> um, a few people came, but not great in sales, and I could just see Katie like, she like literally, I think she said, this is stupid. <laughs> Number one, really hard <laughs> presenting in front of your mom. Like you could just tell she was hating every single minute of it. She just wanted to get out of there. But number one, it is hard. Sometimes your warmest, warmest hot market. I mean, these are like second mothers to her is your hardest to present in front, but they were not like loving her Arbonne things. You guys, that was the night before closed night. And she still had like $2,000 left to go. But this is the mindset I want you guys to get because your whole month, like Jamie and Katie talked about, is going to be like this. She didn't quit. She could have been like, mm, I'll do it next month I because ha we have three months to finish district, right? She could have just been like, mm, it was a good try because she was at 4000 something. That's a good try, right? But she was like, mm -mm. like her mindset, she took, a, I think, an hour pity party maybe, and then she flipped <laughs> it. And it was like game on and even close day. Someone was going to order, and she's like, they're looking at the whole ASVP makeup kit, which you guys, is like 400 bucks QV. So it was like, <laughs> yes! And then they didn't get it. So then it was like, Meh. I mean, this was still on closed day. So I want you guys to give yourself grace to know your business is going to be like that and take 15, 20 tops an hour, and when it's go time, you guys, you just switch it over. That's okay. Next. Like, I'm going to figure it out, and I think that's the – like that's the only difference is she just figured it out and powered through all those valleys. Cause we all have those valleys every single day, every single hour. Um, so I think that's the important part of your district from district or journey from district to, uh, or consultant to district. I can barely talk tonight is just, you got to switch that cause you are going to have a roller coaster. Um, anything else, anyone else wants to add or Katie, do you want to add anything? No, I just hope if I can do this, anybody can do it. So I don't want to pretend like I'm some expert and <laughs> know what I'm doing. I don't at all. Um, I'm boxing Jamie and Megan all the time to ask for help and questions. But um, I just want to encourage you that if I can do this, um, anybody else can do it too. So. Awesome. Any other tips or messages anyone wants to get across? Just mindset of December, you guys. We have two holidays in December. Well, Christmas Eve, Christmas, well, three, I count it three. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and New Year's Eve. It's just three days, you guys, out of the whole month. And I want you to enjoy Christmas season. But no, like you, Chris, or December is typically everyone's highest month. So think outside of the box. No, it's just three days. Um, New Year's Eve day, you guys, I've worked till like 8 o'clock at night and still gone and had fun. I mean, when I was... When Megan, Megan, I think, finished district years ago, New Year's Eve night, and I finished area manager New Year's Eve night. Finished and still went out and had fun with friends. So know, like, you can work your business through the holiday season, and if that's freaking you out, just talk to me or talk to your coach. Like, that's what we're here for. We're here to help you get through that. And I, um, a lot of you are new. Like, December is a new thing for you, so don't hesitate to reach out and ask for help. But have a good night, everyone. Thanks for investing in um, yourself and your business and getting on tonight. And thanks, Katie and Jamie, for sharing. It was awesome. Bye, guys.